hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just going to be giving you guys the full breakdown of meals i know that during the week we all get so busy and we all look for different things to make that are not only budget friendly but that does not take too much time so for monday i'm making chicken taco tortilla soup so this is how you make it get a pot add some beans corn tomatoes and some spices then you get your chicken breast i'm using my pressure cooker so that it can cook faster and i can shred it easy add all of my seasonings i forgot the chicken broth so i'm adding in some water allow that to cook until it's all the way through chop up some jalapenos then you're gonna get yourself some corn flour tortillas and cut them up just halfway across and then i'm gonna go ahead and fry them so that they're nice and crispy once they're done i'm gonna take them out put some sea salt on them and oh my gosh this was so delicious My husband's not really a big fan of soup, so I made him some tilapia with some corn and some couscous pasta, and he was a happy camper. For Tuesday, I made balsamic chicken spaghetti. I'm gonna go ahead, get two chicken breasts, pat them dry, add Italian seasoning, some salt, and some pepper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cook them up until they're golden brown. Back to the chopping board, tomatoes with some fresh parsley, chop it up. Once the chicken is done, take it out, add cheese, put it in the oven so that it can melt. I'm gonna go ahead and get my spaghetti noodles, allow them to soften and cook until they're al dente, add the tomatoes and all the other seasonings with the remaining Italian seasoning to the pan with some vinegar, allow that to cook, add some butter, some sugar, and there you got it. This was a HelloFresh meal, but look, it was so good. Wednesday was a busy one. All I'm having is Hot Pockets and Graves. My husband skipped dinner. But we made up for it on Thursday because it was his birthday and we went out to a nice, lovely Jamaican spot. He got this nice coconut drink. I don't remember what it's called, but it was super good. It had a fruity flavor and of course it was strong. For our appetizers, he got catfish bites and I also got some shrimp bites. It was also really, really good. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend it. For our main meals, we pretty much got the same thing, which was oxtails with rice and beans and some cabbage, also a side of macaroni and cheese, and then a side of roti. Yes, it's a lot, but it's his birthday, so we're going all out. On Friday, we went to Gordon Ramsay's. It's a very upscale restaurant. Uh, we got pork belly for our appetizers and then for my main meal i got crab legs with some mushrooms some onions some macaroni and cheese and i also got a baked potato my husband got a steak with some brussels sprouts and some macaroni and cheese and of course you can't forget the onions and mushrooms on top it was definitely really really good we are making dinner i'm making spaghetti squash here's all the ingredients you're going to need cut it in half you're going to scoop out the insides because you don't need that bake them in the oven for about 45 minutes or so add some water and then go ahead and cook up your meat sauce If you want your spaghetti noodles to be more firm, don't cook them as long, but once they're done, scoop them up with a fork, add your turkey meat on top. I decided that half was enough because it's a big bowl for me. Add some cheese on top, let it melt, and there you got spaghetti squash. I sprinkled some parsley because I want to be fancy. Why not? Sunday, we're cooking dinner. I'm making turkey wings with some brown rice and some vegetables. Chopping up all the vegetables. This is going to be going into our cabbage. And I'm just cooking the turkey wings in the pressure cooker with some minced garlic, some pepper, and of course you can't forget the onions. Go 
ahead and season your turkey wings with whatever you like, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and anything else you think would be delicious. Let that cook. And now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the purple cabbage. You're just gonna cut it off, remove the middle. Don't forget to wash it, cause they are dirty. And um, just cook it until it's soft, add your seasonings. You can even add some smoked turkey wings if you want to. And yeah, this is definitely a staple. When the rice is done, I go ahead and scoop it in a bowl, add some butter and some fresh parsley on top so that it can be nice and buttery. And then of course it's time to plate it and this is how it all looks. The turkey wings are so juicy, fall right off the bone, cabbage is nice and tender, and of course one third cup of brown rice. Thank you guys for watching, I hope I made you hungry. Let me know which recipes you try out. Thank you.